from punching bag to post a child in one press release. For quite some time now, Canyon have been my example that I've gone to for having conflicting policies when it comes to indoor training usage on their bikes. From being heavily involved in the promotion of indoor cycling, smart trainers even having their own esports cycling team as part of their marketing arm. However, when it came to the consumer using their bikes on indoor trainers, the story was very different. Over on the Australian website, the policy hasn't been updated just yet, so we can still see what that policy previously was. And I've highlighted the section that you need to know about here. And that reads, no Canyon bikes are intended for use or officially approved to be used with turbo trainers. They do go on and on and on and dance around the fact that they pretty much did not support you using their bikes in the same way they do in their marketing. If you followed this channel for probably a few years now, you'd know that I've spoken about this many, many times and how crazy that policy really is. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm happy to announce as of yesterday, November 4th, 2019, that policy is gone. And here is the press release with the section you need to know about highlighted. And that reads, Canyon have officially approved a significant number of bikes for turbo training usage. The approved bikes are all Aeroad, Ultimate, Endurace, Grail, Inflight, Speedmax, and Exceed models. There are two conditions though. Fair enough, those read. The trainer must clamp onto the bike's rear axle. Fair enough, that would cover quick release and through axle, they also clamp. So okay, clamp onto the rear axle, sure. That'd be wheel on trainers, direct drive trainers. I can't think of any trainer that doesn't clamp the rear axle. Rollers, smart rollers, maybe? But, okay, so clamp on the rear axle, that's everything covered that I can think of right now. And the required accessories supplied by the trainer's manufacturer, such as special axles, must be used. For wheel on trainers, the manufacturers will supply a steel skewer, which is to be used in place of any lightweight titanium, which could possibly snap pretty easily indoors when used to lock a bike in place. Definitely a great move by Canyon to get their policy now meeting their marketing and supporting their end users for what they've always been doing on their bikes anyway, and that is training indoors. Other manufacturers, well, it's time to step up. There's a lot of gray area and a lot of policies that sort of dance around the fact that everyone's using indoor trainers anyway, and there's not a problem with using indoor trainers. It's just a lazy policy of companies who just cover their own backsides rather than supporting users of their own products. So quickly touching on that age old question, can I use my carbon bike on an indoor trainer? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can, if done correctly. If there really was an issue with using carbon bikes indoors and they were snapping like twigs, you can guarantee there'd be a million posts daily across the board, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, there'd be a subreddit dedicated to just broken carbon bikes on indoor trainers and people raging would be dragging in the manufacturers of both the bikes and the hardware, the trainers and also the software companies who are encouraging people to ride their bikes indoors. That's not happening. It just is not happening on the scale that people were led to believe in the internet forums. If you use a carbon bike indoors correctly, clamping it down using the correct tools as specified in Canyon's policy, quite rightly, then you're not gonna have any problems at all, including sprinting out of the saddle. Trust me, I've tried to break bikes indoors. If I could get bikes snapping indoors, it would make great YouTube footage. It just doesn't happen. So keeping it short and back on topic, can you now support people riding their bikes? Indoors too, and that's a good thing. Alrighty, thanks for watching this one. As always, hit subscribe to support this channel and enjoy your next ride.